wanted you guys to see how oily a girl can get. Hey everyone, I'm Leanne, if you don't know me, and if you do and you're back, thank you so much for coming back. I'm happy to have you, and today is Found Sealer Day. Today we're gonna be trying out the newest foundation from Tarte Cosmetics. It's called the Babasu Found Sealer Vegan Skincare Foundation. It goes for $39, and does anyone immediately think of Babadook, like the Babadook when you see Babasu? This word is new to me, I had to look it up. And apparently a Babasu is a Brazilian palm that yields an edible oil which is sometimes used in cosmetics. New to me, but I'm down to put it on my face. What's new? So Tarte actually sent me this foundation and I got this big thing that's really heavy. Whoa, okay, not gonna do this anymore. This foundation goes for $39 and they're really focusing on the vegan skincare makeup hybrid element. So they're really playing up the fact that it's like a good for your skin makeup. It's supposed to go from a light to a medium coverage and it's all customizable depending on your application method. So they say if you use your fingers to apply it, it's a light coverage, it's light to medium. If you use the sponge, their sponge or any sponge, I'm sure. And then if you use their foundation brush, you will get a more medium coverage. I'm excited that they explained all of this here, but at the same time, I kind of feel like those rules apply to any foundation. Like yes, this one only goes up to a medium coverage, but say like the Estee Lauder Devil Wear. If you apply it with a brush, you're gonna get a heavier coverage. If you use a sponge, you're gonna get a lighter coverage. Everything is a little bit customizable, but at the same time, they're just explaining their product and that's helpful for anyone. If anybody didn't know, why not say it? You know what I mean? They also say that you can get a natural radiant finish with this foundation. I tend to go more towards matte foundations just because I tend to be a little bit more oily. I live in Texas. It's a little more humid and warm out. And so I really need a foundation that's going to cling to my skin. So this is really going to be a test for this product. And if you also have oily skin, it will be good to compare my results with how it might perform on your skin if you're thinking about buying this product. I'm just here to help. It's made of plastic, it's a little bit rattly, but I really, really like the twist up top of the pump. It reminds me of my Drunk Elephant skincare products. When I broke my elbow, this is a total side story, I really, really appreciated how you could twist up the pump and you didn't have to use two hands to open a top or twist something off. And I always really appreciated that pop-up top packaging just aesthetically, but I really, really found out how helpful it is to have that. This is a little harder to do with one hand, but I still appreciate it. So today I'm gonna apply this with you guys and I'm gonna wear it throughout the day and I'll check in with you, I'll show you how it's wearing and then I'm gonna continue to wear it for the next few days and then check in with you in a few days with my final thoughts. I like to give a foundation a fair shot. I really wanna try it out, see if I can make it work, if it's possible. This also has a SPF 20, so SPF in your foundation is always nice, but at the same time, you should always wear it as a part of your skincare before your foundation, no matter what. Okay, so let's just get this on my face. I'm gonna go in with my sponge at first just to see what they mean by light to medium coverage, and then I'm gonna go in with my brush just to see what the medium coverage is like. You know what I have to do first is figure out what shade I am. I definitely got some major self tanner on my skin. If you missed my self tanner video, I did like a huge application, how to prepping my skin, keeping it on my skin, everything you could ever wanna know about self tanner because I'm addicted. I've been doing it for 10 years. Like I kind of feel like I'm good at it. Not to toot my own horn, but I've got a lot of fake tan on and I've got to kind of like bridge the gap here and hopefully I can find one of these shades that will work well for me. This one is light medium honey. Oh, I didn't even say. I will put the link to that video in the description if you're curious. Do I need to zoom you? Come here. Okay, light medium honey looks a little light. Okay, I'm going up to medium neutral. Okay, that looks a lot better. It doesn't match my tan on my neck exactly, but that's kind of what bronzer's for. I'm gonna go up one more shade. This one is medium golden. I love these little baby pumps. Okay, I think that I should go ahead and go in with medium golden. That one looks like a better like self tan shade. Okay, this sounds like it'll be a really hydrating foundation, but I'm still gonna go in with my primer. This is Makeup Forever hydrating primer. I use this one all the time. I just like to use a primer that I use frequently with new stuff because if you use something as your primer that you're not sure about, then you can't completely trust your results. And the next thing I almost always do before I put on my foundation is do a little bit of correcting under my eyes. I have a lot of veins, green and blue veins. 
lines underneath my eyes. I just always think it helps even if I'm using a heavy duty concealer. I will list all the products that I'm using in the description down below in case you're curious. Now for the right side of my face, I'm gonna go in with their sponge. I was having a few bad skin days there for a minute, but everything seems to be healing up. So I do have a few red spots, but no active breakouts, which is great. This sponge smells funky. Okay, at this point, I definitely still need to bring it down my neck and everything, but you can see the difference, no foundation. And then this side, I have the foundation applied with their sponge, which is a lighter coverage. And I actually think that looks really pretty. Um, you can definitely see all of the red spots that you could see before, but <laughs> obviously my face matches my tan a lot better. So I think that looks nice, but it's definitely a very, very natural coverage. I don't typically go for the natural coverage, but if that's what you're looking for, this is totally a look you can achieve using the sponge and the found sealer. Wait a minute. It's called found sealer. Like when I first opened this up and I didn't really even like read anything about it. And honestly, I haven't even watched any reviews about it. So I don't really know how people are feeling about it, but like found sealer that says to me, this is your foundation and your concealer all together. And actually it literally says that on the box, <laughs> but this only goes up to a medium coverage. So in my mind, found sealer would be more appropriate for a more full coverage foundation, which is what excites me. But I didn't name this foundation. It doesn't have to make sense to me. That's just where I'm coming from on it. Let's do the other side and I'm gonna use the brush. So we're gonna get a heavier coverage. All right, I brought it down my neck a bit and this side I did with a brush. This is the side that I did with the sponge. I do feel like what they're saying is exactly true. Kind of more of a light to medium coverage on this side and definitely a light coverage on this side, but I think both sides look really pretty and it really all comes down to personal preference. Do you care if you've got little spots hanging out or do you want a more full coverage? Neither one is wrong, obviously. Okay, before I go in with anything else, powder, concealer, anything, I want you to just see up close and personal. This is the side that I applied with the sponge. And this is the side I applied with the brush. I definitely feel like the foundation went on a lot easier and blended out a lot easier with the sponge compared to the brush. But then again, I don't usually use this brush. This is my everyday love of my life foundation brush, but they're not all that different. This one is definitely a uh, more densely packed, but it's also brand new. So maybe I just need to break it in. Oh my gosh, Luna just opened the door and gave me a heart attack. Luna bean sandwiches. How could you do this to me? Oh, you don't even know. My heart just stopped. <laughs> I don't even know what I was saying. Okay, I just looked at my skin a lot closer and I do feel like I need to go in with a little more product on this side of my face just to even it out a bit. Oh my gosh, I am so glowy right now, wow. finish on my face is very pretty, but I'm starting to get a little nervous about the fact that the oil in this foundation is like in the name of the product. I am predicting a greasy day ahead. So I'm going to go in with my NARS Complete Matte Concealer. This is the one I like the most for redness and little dots little healing spots. I'm definitely not trying to go in with tons and tons and tons of coverage though, because I really wanna see what the foundation is really doing and not just what my concealer is doing, because I already know I like this concealer. Okay, for my under eye concealer, I'm gonna use a good old trusty, trusty Tarte Shape Tape Concealer combined with the Born This Way Too Faced Concealer. And now I'm going in with my Laura Mercier translucent setting powder. It's my favorite. I definitely need it under my eyes, but with this foundation and my oily skin, I need it absolutely everywhere. Okay, now all I need to do is go in with the rest of my makeup and then I'll come back, I'll show you what that looks like. And then from there, we are just living life and seeing how this foundation wears on my face. So here we go.
right, my makeup is done. This is the finished look. I mean, except for my bangs, I haven't done those yet. But makeup wise, I'm good. This is my starting point. I just wanted you to see my skin all together from the starting point before I do any check-ins. And I feel like this is a really, really good starting point. I love the way my skin looks. I feel like powdering it down really brought it to a better place for me. And you can definitely still see the radiant finish. So I'm really liking it. I don't wanna speak too soon. I'm gonna check in with you through today and then after the next few days. So keep watching for that. And oh, don't forget, if you like this video, if you like this style of video, let me know in the comments. Let me know by liking this video and don't forget to subscribe if you want to. <laughs> Why am I saying that in the middle of the video? I don't know, I'm lost, I need to go live my life. Okay, I am just using my blog camera right now, but I do think that you can see the foundation is definitely intact. I am oily, but it's not like a tragically oily situation. I've been there before, I know what that looks like. I feel like the coverage is essentially the same as it was whenever I first applied it, which no, it's not maximum. Yes, you can still see a little bit here and there, but it's nothing out of the ordinary. You know what I mean? Like this is a good like everyday wear kind of coverage, just depending on what you like. But I'm really, really pleasantly surprised if you can't tell. I do think that I'm about to do a little bit of powder because I'm about to go out again. I've been out and about. I've been walking outside in the sun, like this foundation has been put to the test so far today. So let's do a little close up so you can really see what's going on. I can see a little bit of lines here, but that just happens throughout the day. Your foundation settles. Like there is no foundation out there that is not going to settle at least a little bit in lines. But with this not being a heavy, heavy foundation, it does that a little less. And so far that's what I'm seeing with this foundation. Like I said, I'm gonna keep checking back. So. We'll see what happens. But this is me after six hours and I'm really happy. Okay, this is my third day with the foundation and this is just gonna be a really, really quick check-in. I just want you to see my face and I wanna explain what's going on. And this is about hour seven or eight. I'm really, really oily today. For the past couple of days, I haven't noticed getting this oily, but I've also touched up sooner in the day. So I think it could be partially on me. It also could be because I have a different moisturizer on today. And you know what? That's just part of the process where it's really nice for me to try it out for a few days rather than and just trying out for one day. So like on my cheeks, not oily, like they have a nice radiance to them, but it's not sticky, oily, greasy. My T-zone, however, is basically reflective at this point. So I'm about to use a little bit of blotting powder. This is the Soap and Glory Kick-Ass Instant Retouch Press Powder. I really love this stuff. It helps me, it saves my life when I'm becoming reflective as I am today. I just felt like it was a really good time for me to check in, even if it was a quick check-in, because I'm seeing something that's a little bit different than I saw the first two days. And there we go, I feel like I'm back to myself. I don't feel like a grease ball anymore. I don't think anyone could step up to me and like see their own reflection in my face. So that's always nice. But I wanted you guys to see how oily a girl can get. Anyway, I think I'm going to do my final check-in tomorrow. So I'll see you then. This lighting is straight up spooky and I'm sorry. Today is day four of wearing the foundation. It is raining outside. It is completely dark even though it's the afternoon. I'm sorry the lighting is awful, but I had to check in with you to give you my final thoughts. Basically, overall, I'm gonna say I enjoyed this foundation. I've really been liking it. It hasn't been like a struggle for me to want to put it on every day, which is saying a lot. I didn't specifically say in the beginning of this video that I was nervous and that I didn't have high hopes for this foundation, but I really didn't. I honestly was like, should I even review this? I don't know if this is gonna work for me, but I feel like it really did. But I will say, if you're going in and you're paying $39, expecting to get a foundation plus concealer, which hey, that totally would be worth $39 for sure, because that's two products in one. You don't have to do that extra step. And that sounds really, really good and efficient and nice, and you're gonna get a lot of coverage, but you know what? That's just not what this this is. It's not a foundation plus concealer like they said, but I do think all of the rest of their claims are true and I do think this is a good foundation. I just think the name of the product is actually misleading. I'm not sure how much I want to hold that against them because it is a good product and I did enjoy wearing it and I'm still enjoying wearing it. It's definitely not a long wear 
wear it through the apocalypse kind of foundation if that's what you really, really love. And I tend to love foundations like that. And that's why I'm honestly so surprised why I've enjoyed this one so much. But really, I just touch it up with powder, usually like once a day, sometimes twice if I've been out and about all day long, which I have been through wearing this. It's a fresh look. It's a little bit dewy without being greasy, even on oily skin, which I was impressed by. I was surprised and impressed by this foundation, but it's really up to you on that price tag considering you're not getting a foundation plus concealer. It's not a foundation and concealer. Like, I mean, it is what it is. I definitely don't feel like Tarte was like out to get us naming it like that, which I'm sure some YouTubers would totally frame it like that. Like, they lied to us. What are we gonna do? A symbol in the streets, get your pitchforks. Like, we don't have to go there. I don't think it was coming from a bad place because all the rest of the information, all the rest of the claims are very, very upfront. I feel like I've said I liked it about a hundred times so far, so I'm gonna stop. And obviously the ball's just in your court right now. You've seen my experience. It was positive and I would recommend it depending on what somebody was looking for. I really hope this review was helpful for you guys. If it was, let me know by giving me a thumbs up on this video or letting me know in the comments what you want me to review next. I really like doing foundation reviews and if you guys like watching foundation reviews, I'd be happy to do more. Definitely subscribe to my channel if you haven't already subscribed and hit the bell for notifications. That way YouTube will always let you know when I upload new videos. If you don't hit the bell, they only tell you sometimes and it's very spotty and unpredictable and I don't love that, but that's how it is. You can also find me on social media. I always let you guys know when I upload new videos over there too and I love talking to you guys and I think that's it. I really hope this review was helpful for you guys. Thank you so much for watching and I'll see you guys next time. Bye everyone. I haven't done the little wave thing in a while. That was weird. Bye guys. <laughs> uh, this lighting is so scary. It's like the spookiest, most haunted video ever. <laughs> Luna's going crazy. Yikes. Oh my gosh, this is such a look. <laughs>